Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I'm sitting doing my work and reporting on experiences of living in poverty, I find it fascinating how different cultures take over companies that are nationally known and decide to put in their own concept of what life should be like. I just tried to walk into a lobby of a Burger King. It's literally supper hour, I'm pretty sure, based on the light in the air, and what I found was the dining room door locked. I saw a manager literally standing around reading some papers, but it's unclear whether or not he's just locked the door so that he can have an easy shift, or whether or not they're really promoting that we're not going to stay open like the hours on the sign on the door say that they are. It's one thing to be short-staffed. It's another thing to not staff your company well. It's another thing entirely to start shifting the hours, starting to ruin the business so that the building will go under. You see, when you hire particular organizations, when you hire particular type of people, they often do that so that the building will become abandoned. And once it becomes abandoned, they often go in and take it over and nobody's aware of that.